Hello, this is Invector and welcome to my newest Hard to Fire 4 video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the achievements for the new DLC. So let's just start off. So the first country we are going to speak about is Argentina. And uh, our first achievement is, I'm not going to say the names because I can't really uh, pronounce Spanish or uh, Portuguese names. So I am Malvina, I guess. Add Argentina, hold Falkland Islands and South Georgia for 73 days. This is this has to be done with Argentina and uh, I guess this difficulty is gonna be easy because if you uh, join Axis and uh, capitulate allies uh, if you can just get Falkland Islands and South Georgia you just win the achievement or alternatively you can just declare a war on the United Kingdom hold the islands and uh, you'll probably be ignored by the um, by the British so I guess this is going, going to be an easy achievement to get. As Argentina own all of Latin America except Bolivia. Uh, again, this is just Latin American conquest. So I'm, I'm just gonna guess this is gonna be a medium difficulty achievement for Argentina because you just need to get powerful and just conquer your neighbors. Somehow he has returned as Argentina have Senor Hilter. I guess it, it's going to be Hilter because he has always been called Hilter. So I think this is gonna be easy because if you go the brown Argentina route, uh, I'm guessing there's gonna be an event if Germany gets a civil war. So if they get the civil war and they win, and they almost always win, uh, you get an event that brings Senor Hilter to be your leader. As Welsh Argentina control Wales. So I'm not sure what a Welsh Argentina is. Usually when something says country and country, that means you are under the control of the name of the countries that comes first. So Welsh Argentina should mean Wales conquering Argentina and puppeting them. But if you are a puppeted Argentina by Wales, then how are you going to control Wales? So I'm not sure what this is, but uh, it's I, I'm guessing it's going to be a medium difficulty achievement because if uh, there's a Welsh Argentina route and it puts you at war with uh, Wales, but Wales doesn't exist, so you need to be uh, at war with uh, United Kingdom. So, I, I don't know. It depends on the events and the national spirits or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what Welsh Argentina is, so we, we can't know. But my guess is it's going to be a medium difficulty. Uh, as Brazil and the Allies capture Germany while controlling Berlin, I, I put this on easy because if you join Allies, wait until Germany attacks uh, the Soviets and just... Uh, uh, make a D-Day landing and uh, push into Germany and control Berlin. Uh, you can also use paratroopers to uh, put troops into Berlin directly, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Conquer the world with Brazil, the, it's a bad ending, <laughs> which is funny, but yeah, it's, it's a world conquest. I, I put difficulty as world conquest because, uh, like, easy, hard, it's tedious. Uh, but but it's, it's probably not going to be that difficult. As either Brazil or Argentina, be in faction with Uruguay and be at war with the other nation that you didn't pick. So it's going to be easy because be at war with Uruguay, win the war, pop at them, make a faction with them and uh, declare war on the other nation, which is going to be really easy. You don't need to be the, you don't need to win the war, you just need to be at war and you'll get this achievement, which is easy. Uh, I'm home as Brazil occupy every core of Portugal. Again, uh, it's gonna be easy because Portugal is not that powerful and Brazil is. And the Mary Band, as communist Brazil ruled by Lampial, occupy Nottingham, which is in Britain. And uh, I don't know which route you need to take to get Lampial. I hope it's the brown faction because usually they are more, more easier to play and you, you can actually join Axis. But uh, navally invading um, United Kingdom from uh, Germany is pretty easy. So I, I, I put it on medium because Brazil is pretty far away from uh, Europe. So, But occupying Nottingham is actually really easy. You don't need to own it, I hope. Occupy means just, you know, occupy. So you don't need a peace deal to get this achievement. I, I hope. So uh, we move on to Chile. Uh, America decolonized as Mapuche Chile conquer Americas. I saw a, like one or two videos about Mapuche Chile. I think it's the non-aligned version, but uh, conquering Americas is uh, not that easy. So I put it on hard because it also includes 
Canada and the United States and United States is difficult on its own and Canada means war with their allies so could be hard uh, Chilean Empire almost world conquest that means well the achievement the states uh, you need to be basically uh, own all the islands in the Pacific and also all the land that is adjacent to Pacific so that includes Chile and the like, like the South American nations such as um, Peru and uh, Ecuador, Venezuela, uh, all the El Salvador and uh, Panama, all the, uh, all the nations in the Central America, also United States and Canada, which means war with allies. Uh, Soviet Union has a lot of uh, land adjacent to Pacific, so that means the common turn, and also Japan and also China and Australia, New Zealand, all the other nations like Siam. So uh, it's you basically need to be at war and also win the wars with uh, all the factions except uh, Axis, I think. So it's going to be a world conquest, basically. Hispanics of the world unite as Chile formed the Hispanic Alliance and have at least eight Hispanic nations in your faction. So I don't know which f focuses you need to take to get the Hispanic Alliance uh, to be formed. But uh, getting 8 Hispanic nations in your faction is actually pretty easy after you form the alliance. But I don't know how hard or easy it is to get the alliance going. So if it's something like the, the Balkan something with the Bulgaria, it's going to be very easy. It's basically you just spend political power and they just keep joining your faction. So I put it on medium because I don't know, it could be easy also. Uh, King of what? Have Jockey Antoine Bernard as King of Chile and control Paris. Uh, I saw this. Uh, I, I watched a video about this. This is the uh, kind of like the Napoleonic Chile. So it's non-aligned, I think. So you get this guy and you control Paris, and you also get cores on French lands. So it's pretty cool. So I build a medium, but it could be hard. Also, I'm not sure. But the thing is. With Chile, I think you get some focuses to conquer, like the the Iberian Peninsula, uh, so Portugal and Spain. So from there, you can just conquer uh, France, I think. Maybe you could just join allies and um, uh, D-Day Germany and control Paris. So it could be uh, it, bo both could be actually done. So let's move on. Red Hot Chili Peppers. As communist Chile control California, it's again, uh, it, it could be done with uh, Chilean Empire, I think, because both require you to conquer um, the US. So I put it on hard because US is usually hard to uh, uh, topple. Uh, Ursal, be communist and own all of South America. So this could be done with uh, all of the South American nations, but I put it on under Chile because you need to control California as a communist country anyway, so might as well do this achievement as well. So this, I put it on medium, but it's gonna be pretty easy if you can actually take care of uh, America, I, I mean, um, United States of America. So let's move on. Reconquistadors, as Argentina or Chile have a conquistador's national spirit active while holding all Spanish cores. So this could be the same with the above achievements. And the thing is, like with Argentina or Chile, it doesn't matter, but I don't know how you get and how you hold uh, Conquistador's national spirits. So we will see. I put it on medium and a question mark next to it. So uh, it could be easy or, or it could be hard. I don't know the requirements or the necessities of Conquistador's national spirits. So we will see. Uh, proactive defense. As any communist South or Central American country occupy Washington DC, this is basically the same as, as Communist Chile control California, uh, so it's going to be Chile basically. Uh, and it's hard because you need to conquer the US. Rumble in the jungle, own all Amazon states as any South American nation. Again, this could be Chile or Brazil. It's basically the same as be communist and own all of South America because like you get all the Amazon states anyway that way as well. So. Uh, this could be done with Communist Chile again. Uh, Tierra del Fuego means the land of the fire. I think this is the most southern part of Chile or Argentina. And I guess it's about nuking some place. Uh, and it should be medium or easy difficulty. And I put it on Chile question mark because I don't know. So we will see. Revenge for the Triple Alliance. 
as Paraguay declare war on Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay within the same month. So this doesn't say anything about winning the wars. This just says declare war. So it's going to be an easy achievement. You can just declare war on all three nations and um, easy peasy. And the last achievement is true Condor Legion as uh, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, and uh, Colombia send volunteers, send the volunteers to Germany, I think. So I think it's going to be easy. And uh, you can do this with Venezuela. My first achievement is going to be uh, Chilean Empire. And uh, I'll be doing all of these achievements and post them as videos on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you liked this video or my previous videos, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.